everyone welcome to my youtube channel ncrt math sub today in this video we will do worksheet number 47 for class 10 subject mathematics so in this video we will do some problems based on tangent to a circle so let's recall first so number of tangents from a point on the circle is one so we are asking number of tangent from a point on the circle so when point a is on circle then how many tangents can be drawn to the circle so only one tangent can be drawn from a point on the circle so now the tangent touches the circle at one point you can see here point a is common to both circle as well as tangent so tangent touches the circle at one point the length of tangents from a point outside the circle are equal you can see here ac and ab are the tangent drawn from point a to the circle so the length of tangents drawn from a point that is exterior to the circle are equal in measure keep in mind so now example number one you can see example number one is in the given figure the perimeter of triangle AC we need to find if PC equals to 28 centimeter we are given the length of this tangent PC so now the CP, CQ will also equals to PC so CQ will be equals to 28 centimeter so PA equals to AR you can see here these are tangents from point A similarly QB equals to BR these are the tangents from point B and tangents to circle from point A and B respectively also PC equals to QC you can see these two tangents are equal in measure so tangents to a circle from point c so qc will also 28 centimeter so now pc equals to 28 centimeter and pc have two parts that is pa plus ac so pc can be written as pa plus ac equals to 28 centimeter so now pa can be written as ar so pa will be equals to ar plus ac equals to 28 centimeter this is equation number one similarly we can write it as qc equals to 28 centimeter so qc has two parts that is qb plus bc so qb plus bc equals to 28 centimeter so qb will be equals to br so br plus bc equals to 28 centimeter so now adding equation one and two so now you can see here after adding we will get ar plus ac plus br plus bc equals to 28 plus 28 so you can see ar plus br will be ab and plus ac plus bc equals to 56 so ar plus br will be ab so ab plus ac plus bc equals to 56 and these are the three sides of triangle abc so this is the perimeter of triangle acb or you can say abc equals to 56 centimeter this is all about example number one so now proceed for example number two prove that the angle formed by formed between two tangents to a circle from a point outside it is supplementary to the angle subtended at the center by the line segment joining the point of contact means we need to prove that this angle and this angle are supplementary to each other means in the angle kasam kitna 180 degree we need to prove this so from the figure we have to prove that angle ced this one and cad this one equals to 180 degree so as the radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact so here this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree so angle ac <coughs> e equals to ad e equals to 90 degree also ACED is a quadrilateral so by angle sum property of quadrilateral ace plus ade plus ced plus cad equals to 360 degree so now 90 plus 90 plus ced plus cad equals to 360 degree so this will be equals to 180 plus ced plus cad equals to 360 degree and now ced plus cad equals to 180 360 minus 180 becomes 180 degree and thus we can say the angle formed between the two tangents to a circle from a point outside it is supplementary to the angle subtended at the center by the line segment joining the point of contact this is all about example number two so now proceed for example number three so in the example number three we are given a figure we need to find angle dob you can see here dob this one and odc this one so dob plus dab equals to 180 degree you can see here dab plus dob equals to 180 degree as these are supplementary angles we have done in example number two you can see example number two so now therefore you can say dob plus <coughs> dab equals to 180 degree so angle dob will be equals to 140 degree so now also reflex of dob will be equals to 360 minus angle of dob and 360 minus 140 equals to 220 degree so now this is angle 220 degree so now angle obc so you can see here angle obc this is angle obe so obc will be equals to so you can see obc will be equals to obc plus OBE will be equals to OBC plus CBE so that is equals to 90 degree as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so OBE have two parts OBC plus CBE 
and CB we are given that is 75 degree therefore OBC will be 15 degree so now DOB is the center you can see angle DOB is at center and BCD is on the remaining part of circle so this angle will be half of the angle DOB so half of angle DOB is equals to half of 140 degree and that is 140 will half will be 70 degree so half of 140 is 70 degree so we can say BCD equals to 70 degree so my BCD angle will jata 70 degree so now DOBC you can see DOBC is a quadrilateral so angle OBC plus reflex of angle DOB plus BCD plus DODC equals to 360 degree so now 15 degree plus 220 degree plus 70 degree plus ODC equals to 360 degree and ODC will be equals to 360 minus 305 that is 55 degree so here angle will jata 55 degree and this is 140 degree so now we have given four questions for practice so let's move ahead for solution part question number one is find the value of angle M for the given figure where C is the center of circle we are given a circle with center C and AB and AD are the tangents and angle A in the quadrilateral ABCD is M and here BCD angle is 3M so we need to find the value of M as radius is perpendicular to the tangent therefore BC is perpendicular to AB and similarly CD is perpendicular to DA so angle ABC and ADC equals to 90 degree each in quadrilateral ADCB by using angle sum property angle BAD plus angle ADC plus DCB plus ABC equals to 360 degree so now BAD equals to M degree and ADC is 90 degree and DCB is 3M and this is 90 degree equals to 360 degree so M plus 3M become 4M 90 plus 90 become 180 equals to 360 degree so 4M equals to 360 minus 180 equals to 180 and M will be 180 by 4 so mil jata 45 degree thus M equals to 45 degree so now question number 2 in figure J is the center of circle find the value of X J humare paas kya center of circle hai find the value of X so as the length of tangents drawn from external point to the circle are equal so that these two tangents that is ch and ci are equal in measure from external point to the c these are the two tangents from external point c and j is the center of circle so here ch equals to ci as the length of tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal in measure so that ch equals to ci and ch is x plus 10 and ci is 2x minus 1 so now transpose 2x to the left hand side become x minus 2x and 10 to the right hand side become minus 1 minus 10 so this will be minus x equals to minus 11 and x will be 11 thus the value of x is 11 so now proceed for question number 3 two tangents make an angle of 120 degree with each other are drawn to circle of radius 6 centimeter so that the length of each tangent is 2 and root 3 centimeter so we need to prove the length of AP or PB equals to 203 centimeter and we are given the radius of circle that is OA equals to OB equals to 6 centimeter and angle APB equals to 120 degree. But we know that the line joining center to the exterior point is the angle bisector of angle AOB as well as angle APB. So as OP is angle bisector of angle APB so that we can say OPA that, that is this angle is equals to half of APB. So OPA equals to half of 120 degree that is 60 degree. So OPA equals to 60 degree and OA equals to 6 centimeter in triangle OAP so we can use the ratio first of all try to understand here it is 60 degree so side opposite to given angle will be perpendicular so OA will be perpendicular and AP will be base so OA upon AP that is perpendicular upon base will be equals to tangent 60 degree so here OA is 6 centimeter AP we need to find and 1060 is root 3 so after cross multiplication we will get AP equals to 6 upon and root 3 centimeter so now do the rationalize the denominator so after rationalizing the denominator we will get AP equals to 6 under root 3 into root 3 by root 3 so 6 and root 3 upon root 3 root 3 becomes root 3 square 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 will be cancelled and 3 to just 6 so we will get 2 and root 3 centimeter as AP that is the length of tangent thus the, the length of each tangent that is PA equals to PB equals to 2 and root 3 centimeter so now question number 4 a circle touches the side EF of triangle DEF at point P and touches the side DE and DF at point Q and R respectively when produced so that DQ equals to half of perimeter of DEF. Just like you can see in triangle DEF, the side EF touches the circle at point P and when DE and DF are produced, then these two sides touches the circle at point Q and R respectively. So we are given a circle with center, with center O, you can see here with center O and 
a triangle DEF in which side EF touches the circle at point P and side DE and DF are at point P, Q and R respectively when produced. So we need to prove that DQ equals to half of perimeter of triangle DEF that is DQ equals to DR equals to half of DE plus EF plus DF. So in the solution part you can see as the length of tangents drawn from external point to the circle are equal in measure so that we can write it as to DQ equals to DR and EP equals to EQ and FR equals to FP. So these are the three relation. So now DQ equals to DR so that DQ have two parts or you can say DR have two parts. You can see DR have two parts that is DF plus FR. So now FR can be replaced by PF. So DQ will be equals to DF plus PF that is equation number four. So now also DQ equals to two parts that is DE plus EQ. DQ is equal to DE plus EQ. So now <coughs> DE plus EQ can be written as EP. So EQ can be written as EP. So from equation two you can see. So now adding equation four and five we will get twice of DQ on the left hand side and on the right hand side DF plus PF plus DE plus EP. So now DE plus DF plus PF plus EP. So now DE is the side and DF is the side but PF plus EP will be EF. Yeh me kya mil jayega? EF mil jata hai. So that two twice of DQ equals to DE, DF plus EF. So now twice of DQ is equals to sum of all sides of triangle. So now DQ will be equals to half of sum of all sides of triangle. That is the perimeter of triangle. So DQ is equals to half of perimeter of triangle DEF. This is all about question number four and worksheet number 47. So if you learn from this video, then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thanks for watching.